hi guys welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell by the title of this here video we're gonna do a full face of affordable drug store products so I went to the store today and I picked up some items that I've been really wanting to try that I've heard nothing but good things about and I decided well you know I use a, a like a really big mixture of like high-end and drugstore stuff so I wanted to do a full face of affordable products because a lot of my friends always ask me like Lacey you know what's a good drugstore brand what's a good drugstore this what's a good drugstore that and I'm like well I only have a couple options so I like to keep my options open I did do this look so if you guys want to see how I created this look make sure you keep watching and if you're new here go ahead and find that subscribe button right about somewhere down here and hit it and if you hit that little bell next to it that is the notification bell and it'll inform you every single time I upload a new video and I do two a week so make sure you stay tuned but without any further ado let's go ahead and jump on into this video all right so we're gonna go ahead and start with primer of course so I'm gonna use my Maybelline master prime by the way it seems like there's a lot of pretty much Maybelline products in here a lot of Maybelline products so Maybelline's just killing it these days y'all so I just put this in the t-zone only because it is for pores reducing the appearance of pores and smooths out all them lines I'm just gonna use my Juno and Co sponge because I've been wanting to really give this a fair shot recently and I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup so if you guys have not seen that video um, about this sponge I will leave it up here I believe I'm gonna try to use affordable brushes as well all right so for foundation we got and it is the new Super Stay by Maybelline. And I have a feeling this is going to be a little too light for me and a little too yellow. But at my Walmart, the only two shades that were sold out were the ones that were my shades. So this is in 110 Porcelain and I'm usually like one step above Porcelain. It's not super runny. Like it's runny but not like Fenty. Runny. It's gonna put a little on my sponge. Oh yeah, that's light. We're going bronze. We're going bronze. And it matches me better than I thought because I'm a pasty ass bitch. And I'm gonna try to build this up in a second. I mean, I feel like I don't look cake. Whoa. <laughs> I feel like I really don't like look cakey or nothing. All right, let's go one more time. I'm just doing one more pump for the rest of my face because I don't want to be cakey. I'm just gonna put it on the spots that I feel like need it the most, which is like everywhere, but. <laughs> so this side does look fuller coverage. Maybe because my eye looks real white over here. So I want to throw this out there real fast. I've been seeing like this thing going around about people mixing all their foundations together. Let me know if you guys want to see that down below. Comment down below and let me know. So that definitely built up into my brush. <laughs> it definitely was buildable. Honestly, this is giving me like hourglass vibes. Like, that stuff, I do really enjoy it, but it is a little kind of cakey. So, I got the Fit Me Concealer in 05 Ivory. Praying this isn't too pink. Oh, this is waterier than I thought it would be. I've heard people rave about this. I'm not gonna lie, right this second, I don't have, like, super high hopes for this because of how runny it is. I'm using the butt of my blender. After using shave tape, it's like, what am I supposed to do? What if they discontinued shave tape? What would I do? 
This is like just as I suspected. It just like blends into nothingness. It gives me a highlighted effect, but like I'm surprised that it's lighter than the foundation. Like Maybelline does go pretty light in color for foundations and stuff, but it's not really covering nothing. Like especially this eye. Why is this eye always worse? It's okay for like light coverage. Moving on. So I got another Fit Me thing. I got the Fit Me powder because I hear people choose this over the Laura Mercier powder and if you guys have seen my other videos you will know that I'm not obsessed with the Laura Mercier. My favorite is the Too Faced Born This Way ethereal setting powder. So yeah I got 05 Fair Claire. Ooh fancy. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm gonna take my sponge again and just dip it and bake. You guys, people use this to bake with. Um. Um, so that feels very dry. Like, I don't even know how else to put it. Like, I can feel all that powder on my face. I don't think this is meant to be like translucent setting powder. So I'm going to use my normal wet and wild brush that I use for baking and powder. And they don't have... Yeah, they don't have names on them, unless I'm just not seeing it, so I'm just going to dip in there and brush that all over my face, brush away the bake. I'll tell you one thing about this powder that I do appreciate is that it really helps lines. My eyes have never looked so, like they still look like kind of cracky what is it what am I creasing <laughs> my eyes still crease but not like it normally does like there's just like one predominant crease and the rest of it like I don't know I don't know all right I'm not gonna lie I'm a little nervous about brows because I have used this product and I'm scared of it so what I have is the Revlon color stay brow pencil and this is dark brown That's what I think about that. <laughs> this is dark brown. My eyebrows are more of a ashy brown. So yeah. Like I can go a little bit darker, but this thing is dark. Usually what I'll do is take a brush. I'll take a brush and swipe it on there because I'm like terrified of it. But it's been a while. So what I'm going to do is just kind of like outline the back of my brows with it. And then I'm going to take a brush and do the front. I feel like this stuff would be amazing. A really good drugstore product if I have the right color. Like it's not bad. It's like a very good pencil for the drugstore. But see like to me that's a good brow. I'm going to finish the other one and I'll be right back. Alright, so next is something you guys have seen me use as well in just, well, just recently, and that is the Brow Precise by Maybelline, another Maybelline product. And I do enjoy this, it is very creamy, very creamy. You could just use your concealer for this step, but I'm bougie and I wanted to try it, so I'm just going to use this flat brush I did get this off wish for like a dollar so I consider it affordable that is one thing I do like about wish is their brushes like I don't like all of them but I find good brush sets for cheap that I do like most 
of the brushes. And now that those are on fleek, moving on. So I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to prime my eyelid. Oh yeah, by the way, one thing about this foundation, my eye was watering really bad and I look like a clown and it started to, I started to tear up and you cannot tell. It stayed. Color stay legit. All right, I'm just gonna take that same brush and blend that in. I'm just gonna go back in with that, a little bit of that uh, Fit Me powder on this blending brush, just so my eyeshadow does not go on patchy. That is always my fear with drugstore eyeshadows. All right, so for my eyeshadow, I picked up these because people have said a lot about these and I couldn't decide which one I wanted and then when I got home I decided which one I liked this one is giving me definitely modern renaissance vibes like look at those colors so I decided I'm going to use this one today this one by the way is called in the rose in the air and then this one is called not a basic peach that is definitely not appropriate wet wild oh, I only got it open Every time I open a new palette, it's like, ah, 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 ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take that blending brush again that I put my transition or my powder on with. And while these two say transition, this one and this one, which, which I love, I feel like this is a little too dark for me, so... I'm gonna attempt this shade. Ooh, there's some some kickback. I'm just gonna put that in my crease. Okay, so that didn't give me like a ton of color, but it's definitely there, which I'm not mad at. Okay, I want to take this orange color here. I'm going to use the same brush and I'm just going to put that like a little bit lower. I will say they blend pretty nicely, but like the pigment, like it's just not bam. Like I've been trying to work on this for a minute, so I'm going to move on to the next color and I'm actually going to take that transition shade, shade that I said was too dark for me because I feel like it's a little bit more of a red, reddish orange, like a little bit deeper than this one. I'm gonna use this Eco Tools brush. It's a highlight brush, it says. Um, looks like a crease brush to me, so I'm gonna use it. And I'm going to just leave that right in the crease. So now I'm going to take this wet and wild little tiny crease brush and I'm going to go into this cool toned deep brown shade right here and I'm going to put that on my outer V and just a little bit in my crease. Whoa. It took me more blending than I normally would do, but these built up very nicely, especially that dark color. Like, I didn't want it to be super extra since the other colors aren't, but it looks good so far. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of that Fit Me Concealer on that flat brush I used before, and I'm gonna cut my crease. I'm just going to take this small brush, Eco Tools brush. It is supposed to be a shade brush. I think they got their priorities a little fucked up, but and I'm going to take this on camera. It looks like more orange, but it's like pink with gold flecks in it. I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that right where I put the concealer. Oh yeah. All right, now I want to take this purple shimmer shade and I want to 
use the same brush and I'm going to put that right in between the brown and the pink and blend it all together just so it fuses real nicely. I'm going to take this little tiny Eco Tools smudge brush and I'm going to take this. I think it's a shimmer shade. It kind of doesn't really look like it. But I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put that on my brow bone and in my inner corner. And now I'm taking that brown shade, that dark brown shade on this little brush. I'm going to smudge that underneath there too. Alright, so next I'm going to take this L'Oreal Silkissimi liner in the color black, of course. I love this stuff. And I'm going to line my waterline and my tight line with it. It just glides on so smoothly, like, watch. One line. Done. I'm going to take this smudger brush and I'm going to smudge that out because I don't like to wear black eyeliner unless it's smudged out, so. So I was debating whether to do wings or not, but now that I have that black eyeliner on, I feel like it's only appropriate, so I'm going to use this elf angled liner brush that I got for a dollar and well the elf cream eyeliner I think is also a dollar okay so moving right along I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour and y'all know what's coming master contour kit I'm gonna use this brush by Wet n Wild. I'm just dipping into the contour color. And I'm just gonna kinda place that first. And I wanna take this Wet n Wild brush and try to use it. I know last time I used this it didn't go so well, so. Let's see what happens. These, this contour palette, like there's just not much to say about it because you guys have seen me use it so many dang times. So many dang times. So I would use this blush, but it's very pink and I don't like the tone of it. But I am gonna use my normal Makeup Revolution palette in Hot Spice. I love this palette. It has like all the colors that I ever need. I usually stick with these ones. These I use more for like my eyes and stuff. So I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to go into this color right here. So I have this bronzer but I never use it. It's the Fit Me bronzer. I don't know I think I'm gonna attempt it right now and I'm honestly just gonna use my Morphe brush because I'm scared to death that something is gonna go wrong I don't feel like it's doing anything okay I was scared for nothing because it's literally doing just that oh whatever I was gonna use my Makeup Revolution liquid highlighters, but I'm just gonna do my Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters, and this one is Precious Petals on this Wet n Wild highlighting brush. You guys can tell that this is well loved. All right, so for mascara, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I did hate this stuff at first, but the longer I let it sit, the more I seem to like it, so. Alright, so the next one is the Milani. What is the name of them? A More Matte Lipsticks, and this is in the color Emotion. I don't remember hearing a whole lot about these, to be honest with you. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells like butterscotch. Oh, 
Okay, so one, I can't get over the fact that those smell so good. And secondly, can we talk about how even that is on my chin? This is like the most even coverage I've ever seen in my life. I'm just kidding, but I will say one downfall of these, they are very drying. So if you guys don't mind that, which I don't, I really don't mind it. Unless it feels like my lips are about to fall off. But it looks damn good. I can still smell it. And I mean, the pigmentation and the even coverage is to die for. For, I don't even know how much this costs. I got this on sale. It was in the sale section for $3. $3. All right, guys, now to set everything, I'm going to use one of my actual favorite setting sprays, and that is the Master Fix by Maybelline. I love this stuff. I actually think it co it's comparable to high-end setting sprays. It makes my skin look great, and it leaves my makeup intact. So. But that's it. Make sure if you guys like this video and if you like these products, please let me know. If any of these are your like holy grail to die for, can't live without products, please let me know down below. Leave me a comment. And if you made it all the, all the way through the movie, and if you made it all the way through this video, leave this emoji down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!